yeah hi guys so uh, yeah this is what we've, what we've been looking for and keeping an eye out for so um, this event this fellow is talking about I'll give you a bit of a listen listen to it anyway see the text I want to thank Israel Hall for getting this to me because um, Amir Safari had just now Amir Safari right um, I wouldn't trust him with my salvation or anything, but uh, the he was involved with the Twin Tower events, and uh, he knows he somehow he's involved with the bad guys behind those events too. So um, if he's saying something about this sort of stuff, you can bet he knows what he's talking about. Text these words: a call for urgent prayer. What I'm about to write now is serious and must be taken as such. Israel is experiencing a coup attempt led by the former Prime Minister Aoud Barak and his gang of ex-generals. This is something that was in the making for a few years now and the judicial reform that's happening was just the excuse. We have videos of Zoom calls from over two years ago where they've already talked about this. The Israeli government and the parliament in the next 48 hours will either show that our democracy is stronger, that this, or maybe this is the end of the current Israeli government. While the internal political chaos intensifies, the enemies from outside are preparing themselves for the right moment to attack. Israel is at the most dangerous situation it has been since the establishment of a nation in 1948 the yeah so um, so yeah Israel's at its weakest point Netanyahu's gone off to get his operation or whatever or moved out of the way I'd say um, you got your protests going on and all that sort of stuff and if you think the Israel army's um, Air Force and all that's strong as anything. Here's another bit there. All the reservists announcing they won't serve because they don't like this government. They they don't want to be part part of this um, part of this government. All right, they they're sick of sick of them. Had enough. So there's no one going to fight for them either. So this is like opening up a big door for all the enemies. Right, which are just elated. <laughs> Trust me. So yeah, so you got your first attack on the north of Israel. Um, this is this will start off. Uh, that's when the white horse rides straight straight after that. Um, and then you got fifty days, and then you will have the major attack on Jerusalem, which flattens Jerusalem. All right. So the white horse rider is Jesus. He's only here for forty days to uh, warn. Um, Israel and Jerusalem to get out and uh, he's also there to uh, breathe on some of the uh, some of the bride so that they'll stay and work through seals all right so that they'll be the ones you want to look for um, so yeah um, not to stress anyone out but get your get your houses in order get your prayers happening and um yeah keep an eye on this thing and um just pray for those you love and pray for these lot this lot of you pray for israel all right and the people because things are about to get really bad yeah you can see it all right god bless guys